What's up everybody? Uh, today I'm up at the shop. Uh, we are putting some uh, pretty cool little parts on the uh, Demon here. I wanted to show you real quick. Um, another car we got in, we're putting a drive shaft and um, a CV axle on. This one here uh, has definitely got some gap sauce uh, going on. It's got the front skinnies going on here. And then we got the 15 inch wheel conversion in the back. And uh, definitely we see some racing on this bad boy. But uh, yep, so we're gonna be uh, replacing the dry shaft. A uh, little too much uh, gap sauce on it, kinda let go. So I'm gonna put another one on and fix a leaking CV axle. Uh, of course, you know, it's all real simple stuff. Uh, but anyway, let me show you what's going on with the Demon. So, you know, I got these from Petty's Garage. Now I'm not, they're not giving me these. I didn't, you know, they didn't send me these to do a review on. But this right here is a tie down. Uh, you guys, if you drag race your car or you, you know, have to put it on a trailer or in a, you know, if it has to be towed for any reason, there's really no good spot really to grab onto back here. Uh, you know, I mean, there's spots to grab onto, but you know, this is a heavy car. You gotta ratchet it down pretty good and you don't wanna bend anything or put any unwanted stress on the parts. So. Petty's Garage makes these really, really nice uh, tie down uh, hooks. This one bolts onto the rear control arm, the lower control arm. Uh, now, I kind of have mine at an angle, just judging how I'm going to be hooking it on. I think being on the ground, having it at an angle would be a little bit easier. The instructions say just to mount it, you know, just flat with it straight down, but I don't think that really matters. I think it's just personal preference there, but as you can see on this side, same thing. So this gives a nice spot, nice, I mean, it's directly to the subframe, rear subframe of the vehicle. Uh, it definitely is not gonna have any kind of give or flex or put any unwanted stress on anything. So definitely a good spot to, to ratchet down on in the back for towing. And then in the front, what we got going on is the front tow strap, tow hook. Okay, so this little channel here is from the factory. I'm not exactly sure what's bolted here on other models because the, you know, the sway bar comes around the back, but there's two holes that are already drilled. So this tie down hook literally just slides into place and then the two bolts screw into it. Couldn't be more simpler. So, you know, you guys that uh, go drag racing a lot or you take your car out of town, if you take your car out of town, you know, you gotta, you know, put it on a trailer or whatnot if you're not driving it. Uh, kind of can be a challenge grabbing onto something in the front, uh, you know, and you don't want to accidentally grab onto a tie rod end or a sway bar link or something and you bend something. So uh, these are definitely a good option for you. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you real quick. Uh, I want to share stuff that I think is cool, you know, definitely not being paid to, you know, <laughs> share this stuff. But uh, anyway, guys, I'll put a link down below where I got them. They're really, really cheap. $39.95 for the front and $29.95 for the rear, plus the little, you know, fee for shipping. But definitely, guys, check it out. Hope you enjoy the channel. Hope you enjoy, enjoy the content that I'm putting out. If you wouldn't mind, uh, hit that subscribe button. Maybe hit the bell so you'll get notifications. Uh, follow us on Instagram at DFW Speed and on Twitter at DFW Speed 817. All right, this is Billy. See you later.